Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this quick one, I will show you how you can easily add code documentation to your Ionic app. And we will use a simple package called Compodoc for this. So let's get started. I've already started a blank new Ionic project and the only thing I did was adding this little provider. So um, nothing you really have to do if you want to just create a new provider uh, add a function, add a value. So we got something that we can actually document inside our app. Um, the next thing you need to do for either this dummy application or your own application is installing the Compodoc uh, package. And you could either install it globally with minus G, so you can always run it from uh, your computer or you can also only install it in the current uh, project using save dev, so saving it as a development dependency. The next thing you need to do is go to your package JSON and add this little uh, script block. So what this does is first of all calling the compodoc, which is then installed inside your node modules. So uh, other people that check out the project, install the dependencies and will automatically have the Compodoc also installed in their project. Then you need a path to the tsconfig file which is already present at the top level of our Ionic project and I also added those two flags. So um, the first one is to watch our project so the documentation will always be updated once we uh, change anything. And the second one is to immediately serve our documentation, which is uh, kind of handy, but both of them are totally optional. So if you've saved this, you can then always call npm run compodoc, and this will uh, take a few seconds. As you can see, it will iterate through the files. Uh, it looks found, parsing, providers, whatever, project statistics, uh, and then at some point the documentation will be served at this URL and there it is immediately after installing the uh, Compodoc package. Right now um, our overview is quite easy. We only got this one module and we only got the one provider. We don't really have any documentation in here. It's basically just a list of things of the provider. So let's add a bit of documentation to the provider. Uh, we can close this and because it's running in the background and then add a documentation block for our uh, value. So let's say value of the last operation, save it and then we've documented the first value. Let's check. Let's go back to our example, refresh it and here we go. Start value, still number, type, whatever, defined. And there's the description for this value. Um, of course, you perhaps don't want to document all of the properties and values inside your class, but it's still handy to have. Now, a bit more interesting is documenting uh, your functions. Um, as you can see, if you go ahead and type this, I already get this at param, which is a list of the input params of our function. We could also say that the type of this is a number and for this as well. So this is also a part and then let's say this is the first number, this is the second number and then we got the types. So then you might want to have a simple uh, title or whatever information for your function. So this one performs a very special operation and then perhaps if you have a more complex example you can add a block with add example and then say uh, simply call it with two values get result one two whatever it is and then your example will also be printed in a special way inside your documentation and also if you can document the params of course you can uh, document the return value, which is the sum of A and B in this case. So let's save this and let's check out how this looks inside our documentation now. All right, here's our get result. We got get result AB. This one performs a special operation. 
The parameters are described right here, not optional description. We got the example and we got the return value. And now this function is perfectly documented inside the Compodoc uh, documentation. But we still have a few things here left. So let's take a look at other things. So first of all, the constructor in this case is empty and we want to ignore this. So simply type add ignore for all the stuff you don't want to appear in here because this block is pretty useless. And now with add ignore, it is gone and we only see our get result and stored value in the file. So of course you can add also um, a documentation for the whole provider itself. So provider for super difficult math operations. Um, at this point, you could either have something uh, long or short. Um, perhaps at this spot, um, take a short description of the provider or component or module, because what you can do as well is adding a detailed markdown file for all your files. So let's do this. And this needs to have the same name like the file and then write something in markdown, whatever it is. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if the reload works in this case as well. Uh, I don't think so. So let's simply run it again um, because perhaps it's not watching edit files. And then we refresh and we see suddenly the provider has a readme section with detailed information using the markdown we've specified before. And as you can see, you can do uh, a great documentation for your class using the document blocks, uh, the documentation for the class, add ignore examples, params. So everything you expect from a great documentation. But Compadoc also generates more. So perhaps uh, you've already seen it. We got a block documentation coverage. Um, so uh, like code coverage with testing, this is the documentation coverage. And you can see my math provider is currently perfectly documented. App and home are uh, not really documented. So I could easily add, add ignore uh, right here. And which one as well, uh, app component. So let's ignore them for now. Uh, and then at some point it should have gone away, but I don't know why it's not gone yet. Perhaps just need to restart. Anyway, add ignore um, most of the time works. For function it does definitely works. Not sure why it's not working right now. But also two more things. So first is the project overview. And within this overview, um, I don't know, we can zoom in. You can see all the app modules, the components, the providers, the exports of your whole project. And if you get a big project, this is really helpful to see how the modules and files and everything inside is connected with everything. And the last thing is if you go to your, uh, where is it? Let's say the home page. So for a page component, you also got the DOM tree. And within here, you can see ion header, ion navbar, ion title, ion content, whatever is inside this file right now. It will be listed inside the DOM tree for this file. So Compodoc really does a great job uh, listing more than just the code documentation inside your project. Uh, simply look around what's in here as well. So you see the template, you see the source. Uh, you see the DOM tree, it's really great. And we had this from the start with zero configuration. And this makes Compodoc a perfect way to document your Ionic project in a great way. So other developers that come new to the project can immediately start. You can host this documentation somewhere. Everyone can access it. You can uh, add a little script task that will always uh, deploy the latest version of the Compodoc when you make a git commit perhaps. Um, so it's easily, uh, or you can easily integrate it in your development flow within your Ionic app. 
All right, so this was the quick win about documenting your Ionic code. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com for more great training uh, courses, projects, and an awesome community that will support you learning Ionic in the best possible way out there. I'll see you inside the next video. Have a great day and take care.